Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet. And yes, guys, the Halloween event has just begun, this being October 19th. Not sure when it popped, probably did early, early this morning. But I did see something somewhere in one of the YouTube videos that it had started, so I thought I'd jump in and check. And I do remember now that I had last left off with catching I think it was tarpon demons it was I was what I was working on at the point I was actually trying to catch enough of them and eventually be able to go after the frankenfish I had completed the entire thing on the fisherman fishing planet but this one I have not and since we have plenty of time which I believe is like at least 14 days should be able to get this accomplished guys finally for the first time and after that, I hope they come up with something new. <laughs> but anyway, it looks like there's a couple of things we can win here, and they're not the ones that I'm using. I've got the rods that come with the actual DLC, which are pretty cool. I think somebody had asked me about it because they like the way they glow in the dark. Uh, but this one looks like a fish skull cast 7 foot by 3 inch and a fish spine 7500. But this mission here is what I'm working on, apparently. Monster Hunt. Let's see, great job. You successfully closed the ghost gate. Unfortunately, some of the most cunning monsters managed to get through from the other side and scatter across the reservoirs. We need to catch all the monsters. All right, so that's what we need to do is we need to head on out of here. We were, as I, as I was in the last episode, which was just yesterday, and I don't know, I might be putting the this one up immediately, so they may run right into each other next you know back to back but we'll we're gonna do this guys we're gonna start this as soon as we possibly can let's go ahead and leave leave this place all right let's first see what the missions are though might need to do something here I don't know okay I did catch a tarpon demon so I'm done there uh, I think no no I'm not I'm not done I don't yeah, I don't think I'm done. I've got to catch tarpon demons at the Everglades. That's what i got to do. I've completed it at Blue Crab Island. Okay, that works. So i got to get Infernal Crabs and Fiery Muskies from the St. Croix Lake. Awesome. So those are all... I think those are all... Yeah, St. Croix. So we've got to get... Hellish Musky, Fierce Musky, and Fire Musky, and then Cursed Carps. Whew. So we still got a lot to do. We still got a lot to do. And that's actually good, guys, because I was a little concerned that it was all over and there wasn't going to be much I could show you. But, yeah, we've got 18 days to do this. We've done all this right now. We've got the Ghost Essence. We've got the Blue Skill Skeleton Tail. Jar of Fish Eyes and the Potion of Summoning. So we are on our way, guys. We are on our way. Well, we are going to go ahead and finish off the first of the Tarpon Demon missions. So we need to go to Everglades, it looks like. I think that's where we're on our way to. Let me leave here. Yeah, the only reason I had caught the Tarpon Demons was because I had already been there, if I'm not mistaken. I was already there, so I went ahead 
and thought I'd knock them out while I was there. So let's go ahead. We're going to go ahead and make sure that that... Yeah, that mission is not being tracked, so we need to make sure we do that. And I need to make sure that I have everything I'm going to need for this mission. So for Tarpon Demon, what do we need to catch those guys? So Infernal Crabs. How many Infernal Crabs do I have? I don't think I might. I probably don't even have them in here because I wouldn't feel, you know, see a need. I do have Hell Frogs. Um, have regular crabs. Take those out. In fact, let's take out anything we won't really truly need. And keep the finger mullets. Some of these things do work in Florida as well. Just gotta make sure I'm not overloaded. See, I have pretty full inventory, so it's as you can see, it's in the red. Uh, in my home inventory, so I can only leave so much there. I only have three infernal crabs. That's not going to cut it. We're going to have to end up getting more from somewhere. I think we can pick up a few things in different lakes. We might get lucky and find some. If not, we're going to have to buy them, and that sucks. Let's see how much they are first. So, baits. And they should be in here, so I'm sure they're going to be, that's going to be fresh baits, I would think. Yep, Colonel Crabs. Oh, ouch. That's, that's, that's expensive. <laughs> that is expensive. For five, it costs 21 gold. Hmm. 21 bait coins. That's the most expensive of the baits, too. Fire Salamanders are six. Elf Frogs. Now we don't need those just yet. But we will. And I've got to get see. I've got one. Only got one. I've got... Yeah. And other things go for them too. That's the problem. So that, you know, makes it, makes it interesting. Well, let me go ahead and get my inventory here. I do have one thing I need to do, and that's get another sinker here. That was one thing I was dealing with from before. Let's see. We are going to need a heavy one. This should work. And I'm going to take a couple extra just in case something goes down. I think that should do it, guys. Honestly, I don't think we should need anything more than that. I'm, I'm sure I'll get there and find out that I did, but you know how that goes. All right, well, before we do anything, let me go run to Lone Star since it costs nothing. Maybe there's some goodies that we can find there. If I remember correctly, there are pumpkins that we can check out and some tombstones. Maybe there'll be something in there that I can grab real quick. Yeah, we are going to complete this. I swear to God, this year I am going to complete it if it kills me. And it might. It just might. Okay, let's check these pumpkins out. Dead mice. Well, darn. <laughs> I don't need dead mice. Here's the kitty cats. They're back again. Hi, little kitty. Are you up to getting the ground bait? Well, not yet, I don't think. I think we're going to be on that pretty soon. I don't know if we... There's another cat over here that's a... Kind of a... Black cat, if I'm not mistaken. No, he... It's ground bait. Can't remember what that mission's for, but we'll find out soon enough. Yep, there's the third cat. So there's like one solid black one. I went ahead and got some red worms. One, I guess he's brown. And then we have uh, the orange tabby. Let's come over here. I think there's some pumpkins or some tombstones or something over here. Up oh, more pumpkins. Perfect. Let's 
sour bread. Well, shoot. <laughs> Not finding what I need. Yeah, it's going to kill me to have to spend 21 bait coins, but I have a feeling that's what's going to end up happening. But I'm just too close, and I really want to get that cranking fish this year. I've been working at this for quite a while. I think the tombstones are back here. Yep, there they are. Hidden in the grass. Pig's eyes. In a pig's eye, daggone it. Alright, well, shoot. I think that's all. There's some rune stones, but I don't think you get anything from that, so at least not now anymore. But it was worth a try. We'll go ahead and leave. It didn't cost us anything to go there, so it's not like it was a total loss. And we got some got some free bait. Lots of free bait, actually. Alright, let me see here. We are going to the Everglades. Now, there will be some stuff that we can check out here as well. Now, where they are... Couldn't honestly tell you, but I do know that we're going to need to end up here because that is where the tarpon are to be found. Demon or otherwise. Yeah, they're going to advertise the heck out of their stuff right now. Let's see here. Anything in the tombstone? Ghost moths. Well, Let me see here, guys. We have got... I think there's something here, too, that we can check out. Not here. Here. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> that scared me. Sentry eggs. Okay. Yeah, those are... Those are some weird things, those sentry eggs. Those are for real, by the way. If you're not sure what those are, those they're called hundred year eggs, which is you know obviously why they call them century. But they're supposed to have been kept for well, literally a hundred years in some kind of brine type stuff. Yeah, we're not gonna find anything here, guys. So we're gonna have to go on to the main location. There's one last tombstone to check out, and we got ghost worms. Well, daggone it. We're not going to find them, guys. We're not going to find them here. We're going to have to purchase. Uh, it's killing me. It's killing me. Let me see here. We've got... I think we might have to go after these at night, guys. I'm not 100% sure. Well, that's from other events. All right, well, we don't have any markers for tarpon, so we have not been here. We haven't even marked for regular tarpon, but we have to equip the infernal crab. So we'll do that. Actually, I think I'm going to take that one off and put it on this one. And that's all we... One, two... That's all we got. And I might upsize these hooks too. I'm going to actually not only upsize them, but make them regular hooks because even though it'd be nice to get the XP I want to catch these suckers we're gonna put eight captain hooks on there should 
shoot, I wish they wouldn't do that. <laughs> but I get why they do it. Let's see. Yeah, we're putting some decent sized hooks on there so that we're sure to hook into these guys. Yeah, we're gonna have to buy them. Oh, this pains me, but we don't have much choice. Do not have much choice. We're gonna complete this. We gotta do what we gotta do. We gotta lose some coin. We could make some of that back though. A lot of, a lot of cases they make it so that you can. So you kind of you come out a little ahead, you know. Let's see. All right, and we are gonna do. We're gonna, we're going with all stops here. We're gonna put one on here as well. All right. We completed that first part, and I would think we'd want to advance tonight. That's just my guess. Here they are. <laughs> yep, we will get them. All right, we already saw one jump right there, so that makes it easy. They are active. Yeah, I'm going to put this right out there where I use, usually catch the regular tarpon. I did hear that. See, I just heard one right out here. I don't know where he is, but... Yeah, this is that one of those rods, guys. I'll show you what it's called here in just a moment. But we've already got us a bite. At least a nibble. Yeah, I believe it's number three. Yeah, it's called the Os Osibus Blue. All of them are based after some kind of part of the skeleton. I think this one's actually the um, humerus bone. Oh wow, we are going to have all kinds of activity here. Come on. Okay, this one seems to be a little more persistent. Okay, we've got him. You've got to be kidding me. This is not the right fish. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not cool. Trophy red drum. I think this is the right one, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. See, we're going to lose a few of our crab, which is really kind of frustrating, as expensive as they are. we got to get five of these. At least I got one. Yeah, probably start off with five and lost one. Yeah, we definitely have a tarpon. I don't know if these are the same size as the ones over at... Blue crab or not, I think they are, actually. I don't think there's a difference in their size. I think they're roughly... Whew, these guys are everywhere. Come on. I do not want to lose any of my baits. Come on, big fish. 
big old red fish. We got him. There we are. Tarpon Demon. We'll take a look at one of these guys. These are some ugly cusses, I tell you. There they are. Big old horns. <laughs> That's the first one. We will get a picture of him. Let's see. Can we get a close up? Yeah, we got one. Very, very nice. Yeah, I was right about them being in the nighttime. Yeah, they keep nibbling. They keep nibbling, but they're not. Yeah, I think I might instead of using the waggler on this one. I think I might just use a regular glow in the dark. It'll be easier to see. You see here. Uh, yeah, we use this glowing pear one. Or we can use this one. It doesn't really matter. They both glow. Ooh, wait a minute. An X-Series. That actually might help. Sometimes the X-Series do. Up to a degree. I don't know if it helps with the catch rates or whatever, but sometimes it just seems to. We got a lot of them jumping. Come on. There we go. Yep, it is one. Holy crap, it is one, yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> I was gonna say it's definitely a tarpon demon. I was calling them demon, demon tarpons or tarpon demons. Tarpon comes first. I'm working on it, guys. Don't steal my bait. Come on, big fella. Yeah, they're only one size. I think they're just roughly the size of a maybe a trophy tarpon, which is why they're such a fight. Yeah, the barbless hook would have been risky because. I've done this and they've jumped off. And I really do not want to lose them with the expense of these these crab baits. This guy's really, really been a fight. We got him, though. He's 76. 29.56 cash. At least they pay something. There are some event fish that don't pay a darn thing. Like the historic ones. Yeah, they don't pay anything. XP, that's about it kind of sucky, if you ask me. There we go. We definitely got one on this one. And it is one, so we are still good to go. He is going to... I think it is. Yeah, it is. <laughs> For a minute there, I saw white. I'm like, wait a minute. Did I just see one jump when it was 
over there. No, I thought I had that one. No, we got one. Come on. Come on. Get over here. There we go. Okay. Okay, he isn't as big as the last one, but hey, it's a tarpon demon, and I'm, see, now I'm already out of current bait. Well, that rod's useless at the moment. Got two more to get, and we've got one. We got one more after this one. Yeah, I didn't see. I just know, had noticed that guy. I think he's still there, but he's trying to stay out of my shot. Was, I think it'll bother me if he's in my shot, honestly. I worry more about being in their way than the other way around. Oh, I was able to pull him up. 56. Well, he wasn't that big. He's the smallest one so far. Man, that one's gone. All right. Yep, we are running quickly out of baits here. And do we, we don't have any more at all? No, these two are it. If I don't catch anything with these two, I'm not catching them. Damn. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I do have the... Nope, I did get off of that. Sorry. Which I think what I might do is bring this one over here, because I've been catching them more in the regular tarpon locations. So let's try... Actually, let's go ahead and mark the last one. Yep, that's exactly where I thought it was. In that general vicinity. Okay. We're going to use this rod because it's a little bit heavier. This one's the lightest rod we have. Since our float rod's a little bit stronger, we're going to put our infernal crab on it. The infernal crab. Okay, there we go. Obviously, they're biting on the float rod pretty good, so... One more, guys. One stinking fish more. This is. Okay, that's not going to be a tarpon. Alright, we'll see what this is. But it is not what we're after, I can tell you that much. Trophy top sale. Eh, let's go ahead and put those away, honestly. It's just too hard to keep track of it. Come on, dag on you. Just playing with. See? <laughs> Little devils, I swear to God. Those two have been going back and forth now. I 
think I actually have one on this one. But it's not very big. And it kills me is that I just lost a crab because of darn catfish. Ah, that, that hurts. Finally. All right, we got him now. And it's our one. Finally, finally, finally. Ooh, check him out. He is just taking off with it. Boy, he made me wait. I swear to Lord. Those other four, I caught them within maybe 10 minutes of each other. Took me 30 minutes for him to finally bite. This might be our biggest one. The way he is fighting hard, and this is no Mickey Mouse rod. They give you some decent rods. Yeah, they give you a real good carp rod, a real good bottom rod, and a real good matchstick rod. Life me, I can't remember the names of the others, but I only brought the bottom rod with me. Carp rod's not really needed, at least not yet. I think it will be. And here he is. The final one, guys. And yeah, I think he is the biggest one so far. Not the biggest one I've ever caught, but the biggest one we've seen here. 72 pounds. Yeah, that is that is uh, trophy tarpon size, without a doubt. Let's see here. One last look. There's the last one. 58.9 inches, 72.067 pounds, Tarpon Demon, or Big Red, maybe we should call him. <laughs> Alright guys, that is it. So we're going to go ahead, let me see, did I get a picture of him, or did I? I don't think I did. Let me get a picture of him. Okay, we got him. Alright guys, yeah, I'm out of current bait. Alright, now we're on to the fiery muskies. We get to go to St. Croix. I love St. Croix. Muskies are the awesome, awesome fishing. <laughs> the muskies are. Fishing for muskies are one of the most awesome fishing that you can do, honestly, in this game. And I am really looking forward to seeing what these guys look like. So we're going to go ahead and say goodbye to the Everglades and hello to the main map for now but anyway guys I hope you enjoyed this episode please be sure to share comment like subscribe I'm gonna be putting these things out as often as I can before the end of this event but we are going to complete this event if it kills me this year but we paid for our trip so none of that matters we're gonna go ahead and keep this going anyway guys as i always say aim straight cast far and have fun and i will see you later bye bye